So sending customer statements into Xero. Let's get into this. Okay, so you want to start sending your customers statements into Xero. And let's just think a minute why you'd want to do this. Obviously, it makes you look like a more professional business. Obviously, you can get paid uh, quicker. And it's just much more organized, isn't it? So, so if your customer's not paid for a few invoices, send them a quick statement that looks professional with your business logo on there, looks pretty cool. Um, and obviously, if you're doing your bookkeeping really well in Zero, so you're recording your payments against those customer invoices properly, that, and it's all up to date, then it's a really great way of getting paid by your customers and looking more professional. So let's get into how to do this. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your contacts and go to customers. So you go to your customers, find the one that you're potentially having issues with or want to send a statement to, that's this one. I mean, I'm in a demo account here in Zero, so don't worry if I'm showing you client information and stuff. Um, we'll go to these three dots here and click send statements. Now, there's two types of statement that you can send in Zero. You can either send the outstanding statement or the activity. Activity shows you all the activity uh, that you've done with a customer over a particular date. So here, July 23 to September 23, if we click that, this is gonna show us all the activity we've had with a client. So every single invoice and every single payment that we've allocated against those invoices to show us this running balance. So there's particular situations why this might be important if a customer really has got like a discrepancy with, with um, you know, how their bookkeeper has, 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 has recorded things and, and they, they, they're kind of uh, challenging an amount that, that, that they think that they owe you. Something like that, that might be relevant. The other type is is an outstanding statement, and you can pick a particular date. So for some reason, you know, for any sort of reason, the customer might want a particular date. But if you click, say, uh, today's date, uh, which is the fourth, sorry, it's the fifth of October twenty three, and that just actually shows you which invoices are outstanding at a particular date. You can print this P the, the PDF of this customer statement off here, or you can email it. To, to directly to the customer. We select email, it's gonna to go to their email address. You can change the email here, it'll go to them, and it's literally that simple. The only complicated thing about customer statements um, is just to do with your bookkeeping in general, really, which is um, making sure that you've actually done the bookkeeping properly. If the bookkeeping has been done properly, you can print off anything that you want. DNL statements, customer statements, supplier statements, but you, you, if you, you need to know that the bookkeeping has been done properly to be able to send that statement uh, to, to a customer, you know, because you just look absolutely silly if, it, if it's not done properly. And it's kind of like, what else aren't you doing properly? Um, what else aren't you doing quality? Um, so, so, so that's, that's really important. Thank you very much.